Hey y'all, this is Urs, and welcome back to Stellaris. As we continue the Ursinian Mandate's march to victory in our little corner of the galaxy here, obviously there's a lot more of this to explore. Problems were a little hemmed in. Uh, can't really jump out any further than this without building a jump station in neutral territory, but that could get taken over, and then we might be a little screwed as far as how we can jump. And I don't want to insulate my, or isolate my new expansion, so I've decided that we need to kill somebody. <laughs> it's probably gonna be these guys. The eat the Yibrak centralized tribes. This dude looks like a crab. He's probably like this rock or something like that, right? Well, Ebrak, he's gonna get his ass kicked. Mainly, oh, he's got four planets. Really? Enigor, Ebar, and Carathor. Which one's Carathor? We have two planets over here. So really, I'd be interested in these two effectively, so I can get this to jump and make an access to these stars. And then this guy, just because this capital, hopefully I can try and take it. And we, I'm, we're targeting this punk ass mainly because his fleet is inferior compared to ours. So that's nice. Might be able to get a victory out of this. Sorry, I, I have a pause right now because there's a lot to talk about. I'm going to invest some minerals in the new construction ship because our all the construction ship ain't cutting it anymore. Make sure we build these as soon as possible. And also, I want to build one more frontier outpost here in Gieti. This six engineering is just too good not to have, and it's worth spending the influence for. And I'm going to be able to get Caspadine as well, which is nice. And then kind of limit the push against these guys. I don't want to push my borders on them too hard, so I don't want to like settle a world out here. I can't even settle the Tomb World, but you know what I mean. Last one, I promise. So let's get that rolling. Let's unpause, and then we're going to work toward war in that respect. So let me unpause, go slow down just for a sec. The science ship also needs to do something. Uh, let me just quickly go to the one in Dabin. One in Dabin. Wow, there's a lot of debris here. Where are you? There you are. Why don't you actually do... Merglorg, why don't you do this stuff? Oh no, you can't do these. Why don't you do the debris projects? That'd be good, I think. Something better for you to do. Our fleet's gonna move out toward... Uh, Veldoran, because we can. That's gonna be a relatively easy fight. Mining drones, we've handled them before. And additionally, we need to build, like I said, a constructor... ...to get that moving. My plan for getting this little position here uh, with Elan Stella, this is going to be a tropical world, which our new joined units, or I don't know what to even say, population, is the Faradex. The Hazar, I think, at the Faradex area? Who are you people? The Hazar? Hazar, there we go. The Fungoid Hazar. They actually really, really love to settle tropical, actually. So we're going to use them, and we're going to need to build a spaceport there in order to get a colony ship using them in order to go that way. So that's kind of the way that's going to roll. Situation log updated. Neural mandate. Gamma's been elected consul. Okay, so let's double check this real quick. We lost anyone we have. Okay, so who's available? You're available. Industry and research speed. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Colonial, I mean, tropical world colonization is going to be important too because we want to be able to get those Hazar on that island, that world of Elon Stella sooner rather than later. So we're obviously going to do that with a quickness. Um, beyond that, we're just going to keep rolling. Let's put the speed a little bit as we survey some of this debris while the science ship is busy surveying Dabin. And we'll have someone else survey Veldoram. After this, I may hit up one or two of these anomalies. I think we can actually do this without... Yeah, 15% failure risk. This is not too bad. Shushk is doing pretty good. I think we can do that pretty well with uh, Pagro as well. So we'll start hitting some of these anomalies at that point. But as soon as construction ship finishes, I Anomaly will be able to... Ah, uh, hi there. Hold on. Anomaly found. 0% risk. Oh, finally! Something that's not going to get me killed! Playful ruins. Impressive structures, little, small area. Practically begging for some archaeological work. Done it. Do it. Research completed. Tropical world colonization. Sexy. Okay. So quicksand basin removal. That might not be a bad idea. Let's see, let's just unpause and just go slowly. So regenerative whole tissue is great, but we still have a little ways to go in the 134 months, but this is amazing. It's regeneration of, I think it's 1% per month or something like that, of your ships. It's really, there we go. 2%, 1%, or half a percent, depending on how large the uh, component's going to be. This is really, really nice for working outside of your borders. And do I have a lot of quicksand basins I'd need to remove in my worlds? Let's see. Sinkholes I can do, and quicksand basins, speak of the devil. Yeah, actually would probably be quite useful to have that. I can do the sinkholes already, and the quicksand basin. All right, well, I think my decision has been made. Quicksand basin removal it is. Very nice. And what is our new mandate? That's the other question. Let me speed this up. Orbital research. Okay, we actually may be able to pull that off regardless, despite the fact we're not going to focus that. Construction. Okay, complete. construction complete. We have a new construction ship, which we're going to go make sure you make this frontier outpost here. And I'm actually going to get a governor, I think, as well for my new system. So I have the influence to spare now. 
uh, for sure. And we're gonna need an admiral for the fleet if we're gonna go to war. So now that we have that, building cost, construction time, lifespan, or hydroponics. Let's do the general construct. He's also the youngest, so he'll last the longest. So recruit that guy, and we're gonna make you govern our sector down there. Get a little bit more development and yield that way. Where's our sector? It's gonna be in here, isn't it? Uh, planets, new sec- not create a new sector. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do at all, actually. Uh, Manage sector, here you go. Sign leader, Faradex sector. The Riblog will be taking care of that for us. And they're generating a lot of nice stuff, a lot of stockpile. I feel like we should be contributing more, because they can build a lot of this for the development. So I'm gonna increase the Imperial Tithe just a little bit. And that should be fine. Do we have any factions yet? No, apparently these guys are a little unhappy with us, but they're quite alright, the new folks. The new species. This is yes, little anomaly's getting taken care of. That construction got finished. And there's a couple things. Oh, okay, here we go. Finally, the fleets are here. So let's go to the Nautilus Squadron, bring you out right there. Engage the mining drones. That should be fine. We have a lot of stuff stockpiled. What I also want to do here, actually, now that I think about it, is abandon amusement park. The structures in Davin 7 are not as old as it oh, entertaining ruins. Haha. <laughs> are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Shushk notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations we can learn much from, and that to the builder's alien eyes might have been a cutting edge sensor array in a gigantic art installation. Huh. Regardless to Ursine, it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves. Intriguing. Engineering and society research, I like that. We're getting pretty close to the next tier of ships too, but I think we're gonna go to war before that happens. Yeah, we're still looking, oh no, you're busy with this, but we're, we're almost halfway there. And we're doing fine here. How's that going? I want to see the space battle. I want to see the war. I don't want your mining war! You gonna go wreck the mining station too? Wreck the panic station? Do it. Do some Bowie for me. Slow Bowie for me. And we're gonna have some, obviously, a couple things here to research. I'm not even bother looking at that, because I know the fleet will handle that. The debris is working. Construction ship is... Where are you? You're jumping. You're jumping. Okay, what was I talking about? Ah, oh, yeah, we have a lot of minerals to invest in. Let me kick out one more Corvette Situation that'll max us out. Updated. And that'll be fine. Kick out the Corvette. And what has been up to... Oh, you. Go and heal. Go back to heal in the Bear Cave system. And we do need to build that spaceport for the next colony. So let me do that. Build the spaceport over Faradex. I'm just making sure this is the right planet. Yeah, these are fungoids. So go here, build the spaceport with the basic defense module. Thank you. 12 months construction time. I can live with that. I can live with that. And so far so good. Let's keep rolling this way. Uh, oh yeah, science ships are busy. We also need to build some armies if we're going to invade. And this is going to put me down to pretty much negative, not negative, but zero influence Debris effectively. Analyzed. What do we get? Regenerative red crystal capacitors and regenerative hull tissue. That's pretty nice. I like that. Construction complete. And what happened? What do we build? I think I upgraded my spaceport. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, we finished the Corvette too. That kind of helps. System right, let's survey see. complete. System survey complete. How's Dabin looking these days? I'm gonna slow this down for a sec while I look at this. So anything useful in Dabin? Well, there's a world that we can settle, which is a... Construction complete. Persinian habitability, really. An arid world in Dabin. Oh, convenient. High gravity, but mineral rich. Ooh, is it decent? It's a huge world in Dabin. Alright, that's pretty cool, actually. I could just settle that and add it to this queue, and that wouldn't be too shabby, honestly. And we even have a mining station here in Dabin 7A if we need to. What are you doing these days? Debris and Dabin, what are you doing? You're doing debris and Dabin as well. So everyone's doing debris. Well, let's finish up that debris, and that's pretty good. Uh, speaking of which, minerals to spend, right. We need to recruit some armies. So let me recruit some, and, uh, some armies to attack. Yeah, some assault. Defense armies are cheaper. But, uh, yeah. Probably four is good. This will cost us some upkeep, obviously, but it'll be alright. Now we're ready to invade. And like I said, our influence is going to be a little low after we finish this outpost. So, I don't know. It's kind of a half of one, two dozen, or so what, it's half a dozen, six of the other, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Whatever particular little fancy turn of phrase you want, but we want to get that going as quickly as possible. Once we have the armies, once we have the squadron up and ready to go, why do we suddenly get... Ah, because we probably got, yeah, we got the spaceport. Debris analyzed. We did. Debris analyzed, red crystal pastors and regenerative whole tissue. Actually getting further credit to that each time we get to 10%. Let's see. 
we continue the quicksand, but I think we are getting progress every time we do that, so that's really worthwhile. Research complete just in time. I was just here. Red lasers, active countermeasures. Oh, wow, we have a lot of neat stuff. Red crystal capacitors are almost done. What is this? Is this a good weapon? It's an armor penetrating weapon. Oh, good, because our ballistics are shield penetrated. That's not bad. What's the difference between blue and red? Looks like red is, red is better. 2.57 versus 4.02. Yeah, this is way the hell better. Damn. Okay, we have progress to all of these. They're never going to go away because they're reverse engineered progress. We can do databank uplinks or colony development speed 25%. That's not bad, honestly. If we're going to be dropping a lot of colonies. I mean, all these military techs look so tasty. But let me do... I mean, this is also so close. Son of a bitch. We're doing good on that. Uh, oh. Let's see. Mandate unfulfilled. Okay, there's a lot of things going on. Who died? Consul Garma died. Oh, we lost a... Our leader, our great noble leader and scientist. Okay, hold on. A lot of stuff just happened. Let me let me take an opportunity to take a look at this. So you're done in Davin. I know there's no science research going on. So did you queue up the other two pieces of debris? You did. Pagro, you're done here? Do this. Oh, this is no, no longer debris. Right. Okay, so why don't we go down to Velderam? And you just go and survey the Velderam system, following up with... Hello? Following up with the debris. You don't have access to the system. Get bent. So what are you, you're gonna go, yeah, do that. I was not selecting the right thing. Research and research. Beautiful, okay. We lost a scientist somewhere. Not one of those guys. Are they one of our science ship guys? No, we're just consulists right now, I guess. Yeah, we're just consulists. So this is pretty much... Ah, I see, okay. So we're kind of an interregnum sort of situation. All right, well, what are we gonna research now? Let's keep going then. Let's go with the colony development speed. I think it's powerful. Let's do that. If I change my mind, I'll go to one of the reverse engineered ones, maybe. I'll see. But I like the fact that reverse engineered ones never go away. It's a nice way to kind of get a stock of text that you can quickly pop out if need be. All right, so we're gonna kick out, I think, a couple more ships at this point. Uh, let's see. Hey, how many armies are we recruiting? Yeah, I probably get. I just get a fifth one just to be safe. All right, and we're gonna save up some cash for the colony ship. We're never gonna have to kick out at Faradex. Oh, this is already done. Almost done. It's five more months. Okay, we'll have to check that out when it happens. But for now, we are gonna increase our fleet count a bit because we can effectively. And if we're gonna war, I want to be as powerful as humanly possible. All right, the armies are ready. They'll be setting up on transports as needed. The fleet can do nothing but just kind of hang for now. There's really nothing to fight. Research and these things complete. we can't even fight. Debris analyzed. Oh, we get this a free tech. Oh, that's sick. I was just saying I want to do red shard throwers. Hell yeah, man. Give me some of that. New research. Oh, because we're working on that already. So we got that as a free tech. Or did we? No, we did. Why is it still here? It might be a glitch. Okay, whatever. No big deal. That's huge. Okay, can that actually be an upgrade for our ships? Let me check my ship designer real quick for that. Science ship Abrog. Oh, you finished the Dabin thing. Um, all right. <laughs> well, you can't do much, I'm afraid, Mr. Scientist. Maybe you can go over here and do the debris first. Just get that done with. Do those faster while we're doing the system survey. At least that much will be good. But seriously, hold on. We got free stuff. So what does our ship designer say as far as our best Corvette? So medium coil guns still. Can we, like, add... I feel like I need to add the shard weapon because it would be really good. And as an armor piercing weapon, it would be pretty sick to have. Or I'm gonna make a new design. I have an idea. Ursinia, why don't you cancel these Corvettes for now? And I'm gonna make, let that one build. I'm gonna make a new design real quick. Log updated. New console, complete. okay. Okay, let's just make sure that hasn't happened weirdly. Okay, let's check. Glorium, have we lost research? We did. Do we have any scientists available? Or is the guy died? No, I have to recruit another scientist. Son of a bitch. All right, what do we got? Anomaly discovery chance, rocketry, or materials. And what would you be leading? You'd be leading... Yeah, there are, we have all nothing but materials guys. We have a materials guy already. You'd be leading physics, so none of you are particularly appetizing. You're not going to be going on a ship. So maybe just rocketry, just to have some variety. Spice of life, after all. Okay, fine, do that. Lead the research. That cost me more influence than I was happy with. I feel like I need to take off the research um, 
edict to not let that go to absolute piss. Yeah, it's costing us 1.0, I mean 0.8 per month. Let me take that down. So it's gonna reduce the ethics divergence, but also reduce our science output, which is a shame, obviously. But now that I have this couple seconds, we haven't even gotten to the ship designer yet. So I'm gonna actually do another ship designer, new section. We're gonna go with the striker core. I like the one medium mount. And this is how you build your own ship. Now you can do auto best, which you can auto generate designs, and the computer does a pretty damn good job. But there's something I specifically want it to do, like, e.g., the um, the shard thrower. Then I want to be able to do this myself. Complete. All right, so let's go here. We want a red shard thrower because look at the range on this: 10 to 30 versus 30 to 20. So you really want the shard throwers in the medium position, and we'll put the mini coil gun in the small position. Yeah, actually it's pretty good too. See, I'm gonna take a red shard thrower here to deal with armor penetration. That's the earliest kind of thing. We'll put a coil gun on the small mount. Then you need, of course, the stuff down here. So don't worry about that. Fusion, oh, we don't have any armor or anything, do we? <laughs> That's kind of sad. Uh, we really need to upgrade our ships a bit because they're gonna get aped. So each of these is worth 10 power and you can't have a ship run on lower power. So that's pretty good and it costs 85, but I think we're gonna call this the shard class just because I'll remember we have a shard mount on there. So save that design. So that's our shard class Corvette. And we're gonna kick out a couple of those in Arsenia just for fun. And we did, be still my heart, did we actually finish our three months? Okay, not quite yet. It wasn't that, it was something else. We're gonna make a shard class Corvette, two of them. Three, four, five, six, seven. I wanna keep clicking. So five, so two more will max us out on 34 fleet power. It'll be sexy, okay, let's bring it back up to speed. Now I'm done with dealing all the other crap I had to deal with. There's a lot of stuff, obviously. And we'll save some um, minerals, obviously, to settle Elon Stella. But looks like his fleet power, he's overall inferior to us now. He's equivalent, but now he's inferior because we're that much stronger than him. So yeah, I may wanna start thinking about, ooh, what do we get? Oh, cool. Uh, okay. If you're gonna push me to psionic theory that hard, we're gonna take psionic theory. I mean, this is all nice, hydroponic farms, dangerous wildlife, fine. This is the second time this has come up. I think it's like telling me something. 68 months. It's not the worst I've seen, actually. We're gonna have whole tissue we'll have to wait, but we're gonna get Psy Warriors, and then we're gonna go absolutely ape shit. Okay, so how more are you doing on the surface? You have four pop that's gonna grow in a little bit. I really don't have time to make them grow faster. This is actually pretty good for me. Yeah, it's going okay. And let's see, Dark Cobra, you're still working. We're still developing the surface here. We are. You have a planetary admin already, so let's go and upgrade a couple things. Upgrade the mining network too. Hydroponics already working. We're gonna get some research rolling. You, I'm gonna actually build, how, far, how fast are you growing? You got six food. That's a lot, we produce 12 food on this planet. So the growth is gonna be pretty fast. I'm gonna keep that growth going. I'm doing okay on minerals, so I'm gonna get the hydroponics down. Yeah, let's suppress the one mineral, but I'm okay with that. And we're gonna do a science lab. We're actually building this one in preparation for that guy, perfect. Okay, good. So that's, all the worlds are pretty much well managed here. Still have space here, do we still have space on Arsenia? Ah, we're still locked in on Arsenia. Okay, let me go and remove some of these blockers. It's not gonna cost me that much. And then we'll be able to build some more pop here. And we can go level up, so we're sitting at two science. We can go to physics lab to increase our physics, which we kind of need to do. All right, upgrade that into a, we're doing engineering lab here. There's basic science lab, okay. We're still gonna go physics though. We need, we're lagging on that. So two physics labs, that works for me. We're building a pop here. Oh, you're already here, Never mind. Build, Debris probably basic science would be not be bad either. So where are observatories? And we got that purple tech. Is that a spaceport thing? Yeah, there we go. It's a spaceport thing. Planet sensor range and physics output. All right, so this is going to be a pretty good world, actually, our capital world. So it might be worthwhile to build an observatory there, but we're going to build another basic science lab in that slot. Okay. So now we spent all the credits I was going to save for a thing. Okay, so now we have this. We're down to minus, we're down to one a turn. I don't like that very much. Okay, so our mandate is research stations, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me slow this down while I'm just not wasting time. Habit of not pausing, just slowing down instead. All right, let's go and build that immediately. Oh, we don't have the credits for it, son of a bitch. All right, we have to put this back up to speed. Move here for now, and we'll have you do this in a second. As soon as we hit to the end of the month, build a research station, and we'll need to go and crazy and build pretty much all the research stations everywhere with that, and we should be able to hit the mandate, actually, with all that stuff going on with our instructors. 
What are you doing? Now we have Caspadine, we have Giedi. Do we actually have... System Losing energy complete. credits already. Really? Why? Do we build a... Do we build some sort of... No, we didn't build a colony ship yet. What happened? Oh, it probably start our fleet maintenance is going up. Right. Okay, so you're done. You're actually analyzing the debris. So you can officially do nothing, effectively. I guess you can just go back to... to the capital. You guys go back to homeworld. Uh, not quite what I had in mind. Let's go back to the capital. Just go go do something useful here. Oh no, you were gonna do some of my... Ah, we have the anomalies. Of course we do. This is Shushk. Who's not working? Pagro. Pagro, why don't you do this? Change the scientist. Pagro. Do that one. Yeah. Let's have Pagro do that. It's gonna be a lot of weird jumps. Why are you... Why are you acting weird? Now just go to Arrakis. And then do the anomaly. That wasn't a cute action. What are you doing? Not shushk. Yeah, the interface here could use a little work. It's like the science ship. That should be the one doing the freaking anomaly research. There we go. So we're now negative on power, which we need to fix. Can we get any other power stations? Not until we have Eton Stella. I mean, we could run a little bit of deficits here. What are you doing right now, buddy? Oh, you're building that. Okay, you need to go here and then prioritize power after you finish that. Build mining. Yeah, we can almost build a mining station. Sign to Saglor went up to four, which is nice. Mining drone lasers, and everything's a little closer. Nano composites. Yeah. Speed this up a little bit so we get some credits going. And then we'll be ready to go, I think, pretty close to the war base. We're building armies and building fleets, so we need to obviously support them with some kind of energy upkeep. And we can go negative for a little bit. It's fine. We had a thousand banked, so that's not going to be a problem at any point. I'm relatively certain. We're going to have... What's the issue? You're already performing that order. Oh, <laughs> right. I already did that one. Build that one, then we can talk. Debris okay. Analyzed. Good. And what else do we get on the debris? Even more progress over red lasers and physics research. Armies are done. Good. So how many do we have actually active? We have five invasion fleets. Nice. Okay, so we'll be ready with those whenever we're going. That's costing us some upkeep too, mind you. A tropical world here. I'm gonna go into more negatives. Did we finally finish building this damn spaceport? We did. All right, colony ship is gonna be the next big thing. Let's run that one. The science ship Abrog. You know what? Actually, take the Abrog. Let's go to the. Let's get out of galaxy mode. Let's see. We can do this. And 22% eh, failure risk versus 30% there. I'm gonna have to do this at some point though. I mean, Shush can't be a baby forever. Research that Shush. Do it, buddy. This one, 22%. I'm gonna hope you survive that. Please survive that. I mean, not like I got much use for him now, but I'm gonna be hopeful. Okay, so we're gonna get a Faradex colonist here. Hi. Hold on, are we still building a shard class corvette? Yeah. We can, <laughs> I wanna build more! No, no, I wanna build the colony ships first. At this rate, if we're gonna really go to war with this guy, and we're already working on this, the sooner the better, because he's officially inferior. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna recall the embassy. Construction complete. And we can get the rivalry to get the enhanced... Yeah, let's do that. He's gonna know something's up. Might do that later, but that's the way we're gonna go out to real positives. So we're gonna clear a rivalry with him. And we'll get influence for that. Okay, what happened to you? Right, let's do the normal thing I've been talking about. Slow it down rather than stopping. Alright, you finished this stuff here. Yeah, go ahead and do this mining station. And just finish that. It's okay. I can wait a little longer on my colony ship. It's fine. Make sure I just go to war now. I am my invasion fleets are ready. Yeah, I think my invasion fleets are ready. Let's let's recall the embassy. Let's go to let's go to town on this guy. Uh, we're gonna recall the embassy. Yep. Disappointing turn of events. We're gonna declare rivalry to give us the influence per month, which is awesome. I thought we were friends. <laughs> I know, but then your world's got in the way. So we have the Nautilus Squadron ready. We're going to need to have another jump point um, from Inigor to get to Ebar. But I'm going to try to go for conquering Ebar and Inigor. So, Ursinia, get your armies embarked in orbit. The transport fleet is ready. My bud is ready. And we're going to be ready to declare war here. So we're going to go for seeding Inigor to the Ursinian Mandate. And also... Seeding Ebar, his capital. It's going to cost a lot of war score. It's going to be 63 war score to do it. I'm okay with that. We may try to vassalize him later, once we're just absolutely abusively strong. But these two would give me opening to all these stars, which I need to do. So I think it's about time that we went to war, eh? 
What's going on, eh? Let's do it. Yeah, I shouldn't be waiting around for this. All right, so immediately, we're gonna jump the Inagor system and we're gonna start to go to Vram Padrig. Let's go to that position and go ahead and start sieging it. Now, he's obviously probably gonna jump a fleet into us, but you'll see how powerful it is to have warp gate technology. Like, you can jump around so quick. Like, people with other warp methods can't compete. I don't know if, it doesn't look like he's got a warp gate here, so I think he's either hyperspace or jump, not jump drive. Um, what is it, is it just warp? I think it's just warp, yeah. Hyperspace or warp. I'm not sure what method he uses. But we should have pretty good ability to just absolutely wreck his fleet and hopefully force these worlds into submission. Not much happened in the war so far, but let's speed that up a little bit. Can we jump there already, please? To Inagor? That'd be nice. I'd appreciate that greatly. We are moving there, right? Like, well, how long does it take to freaking jump? I guess a little bit. Okay, whatever. We're gonna decommission, not decommission, we're gonna requisition one of our construction what happened? Oh, he's dip he's rivaling us too. What is this? Oh, hi. Hold on. What is this? Where are you? Riblor. You jumped to Riblor. Oh, you bastard. Well, he's gonna try to break something in Riblor. So instead, go. Oh, you just jumped. Shit. Okay. What are you gonna do? All right. You know what? I'm just gonna put him on find this fleet and kill it. This will actually follow the jumps if they jump anywhere else. Let's see. So they're in Riblor now. Oh, while conducting the survey of Arrakis 7A, the USS UMS Merglorg detected, detected. Wow, English good today. The remains of an automated shipyard in orbit is at least a thousand years old, seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage. But one of its manufacturing bays is still in working order or working condition. Science office Pagras commented when power can be restored to shipyard to be a significant project. Okay, well, let's Situation try it. Log updated. Let's, yeah, let's do it. Where is that going to be? In Arrakis. Okay, let's try it. I mean, God forbid this is gonna be some kind of horrible AI that murders me, but let's try it. Merglor, you're already working on that. You need to be in orbit here. So, yeah, you're doing this already, research that project. All right, so where are we? We're on fast, let me slow this down. Well, we're gonna be following this fleet anyway. Are you, what are you doing, fleet? Are you gonna come around and mess up with my science or are you gonna jump somewhere else? What kind of hyperspace do you have? Okay, they have jump, jump drives. Where are they going? They're in docile? No, where did they go? They jumped away. Okay. They're going to War Dog. Okay, so I don't even know where they're going, but my ships do if you just chase the enemy fleet. And we can jump there a lot faster than they can. So we'll be there waiting for them when we're ready to go. Yeah, see that? Fleet detected. See that? On course to War Dog, and we're going to meet them there. And that's when we're going to take down his fleet, and then we're going to start sieging out Inigor. Yeah, we'll get the mining stations done, don't worry. That's not the priority here. I'm going to keep this on relatively normal speed until we're ready. What is this? Transport fleet. Don't care about that. My main squadron is here, and we're engaging. Okay, sick. This is the war I want to see. This is the fight. They're trying to jump again. So they got jump drives. We're going to be able to outmaneuver them completely. Hey, Poto. Get over here, buddy. What are you doing? Are you breaking off? No, he's just shitting himself, basically, what's happening. He has shields, but not for long. We got ballistic weaponry, and then our shards are going to wreck. Oh, he emergency FDL'd. And we're chasing them. Where to? Where do they jump to? He jumped back to Riblor. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, buddy. We're gonna be there before you even get there. This is why warp... I mean, um... Black hole technology is so strong. You can just get to places so fast. They really can't compete. Like, they're still warping here. And we're gonna be there before they even get there. And it's gonna be amazing. Sonic Theory, baby. We're gonna have to... <laughs> Look at that. We're just waiting for them. We just waiting for them. As soon as they land here, it's gonna be glorious. And that's the emergency FTL. They can't escape anymore. Hostile Look at that. Engaged. Oh my god. That is a beautiful... We haven't taken any damage yet. He's just getting wrecked. Okay, hold on. I just realized I don't have an Admiral, which would be nice to have. Let me go to my leader's screen here. There's my Admiral. Okay, so failure on that particular thing. Only so it's faint transmission. So you cease completely. Unfortunate. Okay, pause. Before we go crazy here. Emergency FTL, evasion. Let's go with the evasion. I kind of like dodging stuff. I don't know if it's better or not. I still haven't known enough requirements in this game to get there. I can't, we can't assign an admiral now, but I really should in the future. We're taking no damage so far. I mean, look at this. Our corvettes are untouched by his. Situation log update. Okay, assign a leader. There you go, admiral. I'm getting three influence a turn now. So I'm okay with this. Abrog. Okay, we can steal some tech from them too. Hey, perfect. Why don't you go here and research the project of the debris, maybe get some research that he has that we don't, which is unlikely given that we're way ahead of him on tech. 
All right, so we have 10% war score. We wrecked his fleet there. We need to earn, how much war score do we need? Ah, here we go. He wants to liberate all these planets. That's his, that's his war goal. All right, except it's minus 13. So we're, we're getting there. But I think um, we'll have enough war score in the end. We need 63. Yeah, we can blockade stuff and we'll be okay. All right, let's go to Inigor. I wonder if killing mining stations give you war score. That's a good question. But we're going to have to effectively... Yeah, done, 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 done. Fleet combat stats, meaning we kicked their ass is what happened. And our transport fleet's going to have to attach to this as well. Where's our Nautilus squadron? Uh, you know what, transport fleet? Don't do this yet. Don't do this yet because I'm a little worried about your health. Let's go right there, transport fleet. Then we'll jump when our fleet's there. Because transport fleets are pretty much just transport fleets. They have no way to fight normally. Oh god, we have been sitting on so many minerals that got carried away with the war. Okay, so Raider, you need to build me a... Wait, did we build a colony ship already? We didn't. No, no. So that we need to do. And the Hazar. So they're they're fanatic militarists. Okay, so we could give just a spiritualist or we can go fanatic militarist. Yeah, let's go with this. So that's going to be the new the new hotness. And while I'm sitting on the slowest mode here, so where are you now? You're you're still jumping. Okay. Let me do something with all these minerals I've been sitting on. Constructor ship. Which one are you? Which one are you? You're the one Getty. You're still working to work on that. Good. Constructor ship. I just don't have to think about every single thing I need to construct all the time. Yeah, work on the stuff in Plin. And the meat sir is going to be a good thing too. We're going to settle Elon Stella. That's our next goal with our colony ship. Okay, you're working on that. Then you need to also... What are your orders right now? Finn Mining Station. Okay, there. Are you going to build this one too? Oh, you built that one already. All right, go ahead and build that mining station too. And now I guess we can develop some of the core worlds here. Surface. While our fleet's still jumping, it's still in transit. Yeah, why don't we bring you off of the food? So we're doing actually pretty okay on that. Onto the power. And we're probably going to do... Ah, this costs influence. This definitely helps. We have a lot of power on this world, actually. Should I call it pay the influence right now? I'm, I'm really running low. If someone dies, I won't be able to recruit them. And that's usually my rule of thumb. <sighs> Instead, let me just make this easier for myself. Just build a power plant there. Ah, uh -uh, not that. Cancel that one. That one. We just build a power plant. Wrong place. Perfect. Okay. Anything else I can do with my money right now while we're still in war? You're migrating to Ersinia. Okay, interesting. That's kind of unfortunate. It's kind of hoping that wouldn't happen, but all right. You're migrating away from this world. Okay. Well, we can build you a science lab, because that's going to be worthwhile. Where's the next pop going to pop out? There. Now, if you're not working currently, or are you working? No, I think we're still yielding before he migrates. I'm not sure. He may not be. Not sure how this game works exactly. Dark Cobra, how's this world going? Hi. Upgrade you to a... I think a physics lab again, just to keep our science more level. We're a little shy on that. You are migrating to Arsenia. Everyone's leaving our frontier worlds and going to Arsenia. Kind of sad, really. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. So our squadron finally got there. All right. So let's see. Let's go try to wreck this and see how that goes. And then we're going to go and siege out Vermtiburg. Oh, we need to... Ah, oh, wait a minute. I queued up all this stuff in my construction ship like an idiot, and I realized something. I need you to actually not be in Getty right now. I need you to build me a wormhole generator on this system. That's going to be your new priority, friend. Let's go build me a wormhole here. Build a wormhole station. By the next to the future colony. I'm already thinking ahead, right? Not greedy at all. Okay, stand that up. So now transport fleet can move to Inagor. Keep the war moving. I think his fleet is more or less... Yeah, I mean, he's getting, he's getting pretty fucked right now. But that's good. And the colony ship is building. I have to track this, because it actually doesn't tell you if you're not owning the world. It's kind of weird. But we'll get that going. And we have a lot of minerals still. We're going to keep using to upgrade our frontier worlds. But you, you already have this. Do we not have a... No, we can't do anything here yet. Hi. That should be relatively simple. So are we going to get war score for this? Let's see. Speed that up. Special project okay, complete. so much for that. Science Officer Pagro has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard. The facility immediately resumes its interrupted construction order. Have build advanced frigate of unknown design. Oh, cool. Frigate. Is that, like, really high-tech? Unfortunately, the engine facility broke down completely afterwards. New ship and pressed into service. Oh, sexy. Hold on. Let's slow that down for a sec. What kind of... 96 power. Dark Wanderer. What? Wow, that's pretty damn good. I like this. Why don't you go here? 
Add to add to Inigor. Go 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 siege out Vermteberg. You have another thing to do here. That was that was really worthwhile, actually. Can we settle Arrakis with anything? We can settle a continental world with one of our other folks. One of our Hazar. Maybe we'll do it here. But why is this telling me it's not settleable? Oh, we don't have continental colonization yet, but we might try to replace this frontier outpost with an actual world at some point. Okay, so we can try and Situation do this one. Log updated. Is this science ship Merglorg? Is that Shushk? This Pagro. No, we need to change Pagro. Change to Pagro. And go and research the anomaly. 35% chance to fail. Wow. Is that shitty or what? Is there anything else I can do here? What about the level 4? 30. So, Pagro actually has a lower chance to fail on this one. Alright, let's try level 4 then. We gotta try this stuff anyway. The science ships aren't doing anything else. Where is our fleet? Where's our fleet these days? Come on. Wakey, wakey. Go to this. Go to this. You're gonna start sieging the world soon. Good. And debris and Inagor. So do we get war score? We did not get war score for that. Fair enough. Still learning the mechanics here. And where is our transport fleet? And get over here to Verm to Berg and enter orbit for now. We're not arm landing armies yet. Yeah, we're gonna be bombarding. So right now what we're doing is bombarding the planet's defense. And you'll see that this is the defense bar and it's going down. And at 50% you fight on even footing. Fine. Uh, that was the open borders. But at 50% you fight on even footing. When you bring this down to zero, the enemy takes more damage, which is basically the best thing you can do. And go, go join up there, new ship. And the transport fleet, like I said, is going to enter orbit, so that's working. Fleet order finished. And how's our construction ship that's going to jump to Inagor very soon? He's moving to Inagor already. God, I love black hole systems. They're so quick. I mean, you got to build the infrastructure, but damn if it isn't worth it. So we're already... Oh, why are we getting a war score? Blockade. Ah, I might leave a ship to keep blockading, unless we've conquered it already. All right, so that's going pretty well. The war is definitely in our favor right now. How's the construction ship doing? That one's jumping. You're building stuff in Finn. That's fine. We may settle a Mitsu regardless, though. Just, it's another tropical world that our, has our love very much. How's this going? That's not the right system. Why am I paused? Normal speed, please. Don't care about the energy balance right now. How are we doing? Are we almost getting the colony ship? 212 still. Fine. No problem at all. So Getty's already done. We're getting a lot of engineering research. Now, new contact. Sovereign Tsunami. Domains. Can we learn our existence by listening to the communications? Okay, where are you? Hey, you look awfully human to me. So we have the Sovereign Tsunami Domains. We're a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens in a galaxy full of alien horrors! Like me? Hey, are you, are you, are you, are you talking to me? Your elected leader, President Scrotum? No, Sacco Tiram, Jesus. Hod Fuleth, sorry. President Sacco, he's gonna be Scrotum to me, sorry. When we don't interact with the or approach our space. Really, it's your isolationist, huh? Uh, sure. Let's be friendly for a second, but who the hell are you and why are you such an asshole? It's a primitive, indirect democracy. Let me send an embassy. And where are you at? Is this war gonna actually get me a new space? You're out there. Okay, there's a chance still there's some room here to settle. I don't want him to go crazy on me. Is he strong? He, he just say something? Who do you study? What are you talking? Like, random is in the European random accent because you have scruffy beard and hair? That's kind of douchey. Isn't that a little bit, you know, on point? You little prick? What's wrong with you? Shushk. Ah, yes. You've... What the hell were you doing, Shushk? Oh, he's doing anomaly, maybe? Oh, he's doing debris. Alright, Shushk. You got new debris to do. Do some debris. Research that project. How are we doing on the world's defenses? We're actually making pretty good headway. We're not gonna land until we go there. We're gonna leave one division as an occupying division. And then we're gonna invade. And we'll have Verm to Blorg as our thing. How's our new ship doing? You're still moving. Okay, so we can actually add these together now. New frigate. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a unique unit to have. Okay, I think our Shard class Corvettes are actually really working for us. It's most appreciative how much power they're being put down. We just absolutely not. He didn't even get a shot in on our fleet. I don't know what kind of freaking power he's got, but it ain't much. So once this gets pretty low to zero, we're going to land. There's no sense speeding this war along. We can beat his fleet at whatever he tries to do. So, yeah. We're making good war progress here. My first war, I mean, this particular playthrough. But luckily, I did the research so I actually know what the hell <laughs> what the hell it looks like. You need to invade, you need an army. It's a little bit of learning curve. First time I was trying to get a world, I'm like, well, I, fortifications are at zero. Does that mean I have it? You need an army. So, like, here's seven months to build a freaking army. 
Finish the serving instruction queue, good. Construction complete. Okay, what has happened? Bull has finished his service construction queue. Are we done? Evading hostile fleet. Uh? In Gamnesia? Where are we? Unidentified Empire. Wait a minute, hold on. The tree. There's a lot of stuff going on. Among the asteroids is a tree drifting through the emptiness of space. This is an anomaly. An unprecedented and highly unlikely event. The tree surrounded in a protective bubble. Reminiscent of an energy shield. Suddenly we detect some hostile space dwellers on approach. Okay, it's probably this. Okay. We'll check them out in a sec. Le it coincided with some sap leaking through the tree's shield while we collected samples. Could have agitated the creature when you figure out what's going on. Situation. Can you evade. Updated. And that's the tree project. Okay, how can we do the situation project? We probably need military here. No, we can do this. We can do that. You're evading. Why don't we go here and research... Oh, wait a minute. That's not related, is it? No, it's not related. Okay. Wow, that's weird. It's kind of on the point. But anyway, what were we doing here? Army can invade. Okay. Is it down to zero? It's down to 84. Okay, we'll, we'll worry about that later. How are we doing on the war? 13. Okay, we're going to start landing the fleet now. Okay. Armies, go ahead and land. Land the armies, and we're going to watch the war in a second. As this comes by, our fleets are standing by in orbit to give us power. Done, done, done. Good. And let's see, how's the war going? How's the invasion? How goes the invasion? Here we go. So we're landing here, and this is our armies. One of our invasions, and this is his defensive forces. And he is just getting wrecked because we took down all attack. the fortifications. Station under attack. Wait, what? What station's under attack? Didn't you, you just told me station is under attack, and you're not telling me where. Docile Gamnesia. Oh, you're fucking up my stuff. Really? You're actually going after me? Um, whatever. It's two minerals. It's not a big deal. If they dwarf anywhere else, I'm gonna have to go deal with their jackasses. What are you done? You finished faux fin. Okay, fine. Go and do in Bathari then. We're not gonna do this continental world anytime soon, so go here, give me this is just research and minerals when we're running a deficit of power. <laughs> okay. Research in Bathari, good. Oh, I didn't cue that, did I? Do wow, that's really not working, is it? Bathari, thank you. Construction ship, go here. Build min engineering station. Then queue up, build a mining station. Done. Okay, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this guy in Gamnesia. If we need to do something about it, we will. That's kind of a weird thing to come out of that, but all right, never seen that before. Armies, sorry, you're invading someone. I don't want to leave this completely alone, but we may need to have our full power of the fleet deal with the 400 power invaders. You know, we took basically no hill point damage. It's insane. We're looking at... Enemy planet secured. Okay, so we secured Vermteberg. So we're going to embark... All? No, how do we embark individually? Okay, we don't really need a general because we're doing well enough. Can we embark you like this? No. Okay, how do I embark not everyone? Because if we don't have this, basically... I feel each death we cause, don't make us do this. <laughs> Give me your capital, I won't have to. Can't make you cause any more death. Okay, so we're building the wormhole. How's that progressing? 7% done, so we're not quite there yet. So you're no longer bombarding. So how do we get our armies off of... There's our surrender? Are you serious? We're at 42 war score, buddy. I don't know about you, but I'm getting your two worlds. Alright, let's see. Do we have to embark all? Oh, you know what we can do? We can probably embark all and then land one army. Let's split off the transport fleet. Split it off. Give me just one. Yeah. Then we're going to take the one thing and land on Verm to Blurg. Land that army. Hang out there. Y'all are in for a next surprise, so why don't we go near the constructing wormhole generator. Now let's go blow this up. I'm bored. But let's see what that guy does. If he just blows up whatever's in Gamnesia, I'm totally cool with this. If he starts jumping around, like I said, I'm gonna have to deal with this crap. There's nothing I can do about 452. And if he jumps, it's gonna be important. Cecily invaded. Okay. Good, good, good. So we can take care of that. New contact, Galactic Rathalian Hierarchy. Man, we're learning a lot of stuff. 
I speak. Oh god, you're creepy looking. I speak and I have the. Are you like a. Is like a bird. Fleshy bird thing? God, that's evil. And I bring you greetings, our great leader, Emperor Haskvalgum the First, is very pleased to have made contact with your unique species. Forge an exchange of culture and ideas. Oh, you seem nice. May the spirits bring you to your goal. So who the hell are you again? Let me slow this down for a sec. You. Who are you? Contacts. Right. Not that one. That one. Despotic Empire. He's actually pretty chill with us. He's inferior, so he's not gonna fuck with us. Um, and why are you not happy with me so much? Here we go. Hostile, no, he's not gonna help me. Let's see. Uh, opinion. There we go. Is that it? No, this is it. Xenophilia, individual rabble, but new context. So we're gonna actually go positively. He likes that we're spiritualists, and we are... They like they're xenophiles, so that's fine. And where are you in the grand scheme of things in the galaxy? Okay, so you're pretty much right here. So I gotta start colonizing this shit quickly. Ah oh, man, it feels like we're in a very crowded part of the systems. It's kind of a little frustrating, but alright. Okay. At least one of our fleets is in combat. Yeah, we'll handle that in a sec. How's that construction going? You doing that? This mining station shouldn't last very long. What kind of weaponry are you sitting on, buddy? Yeah, what is that... that doing? And what are you doing? Did you wreck this thing yet that you were wrecking in Gamesia? Yeah, you did. It looks like you're still hanging here. I don't think he's doing anything. Yeah, he's gonna watch the tree. Okay, so he's, if you're gonna stay there, I'm totally content with letting him stay there. Murglorg's not doing anything. You just Agreed. sit there for now. Nothing for you to do. You're done. Okay, slow all this down. Too many things going on. Let's go here. And it, this notice is probably telling me that I can't use an offensive place to defend Vermteblurg. Probably true. Alright, so you know what? Why don't we embark the assault army, because that's what this is probably doing. Red lasers. No, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it landed. I'm gonna be stubborn. Land it. You you're doing a lot of things here. Let's. I need to slow this down because <laughs> there's too many things to think about right now. So we finish the debris. What do we get? Red lasers and physics. All right, it's not bad. We have Faraday Expedition Construction Cube. So we have a new. Now this is another weird thing. We build it from a place in a sector. You can actually control it through here. You can control it here though. I found, which is really weird. We're gonna have you colonize Elam Tashila, or Elan Stella. Go here and colonize that planet. And it'll be curious to see if this comes up as a world that I can control directly or part of the sector. It shouldn't be sector controlled, but it should be interesting. Okay, so that spaceport finishes Q and we have a little more capacity thanks to its very existence. And let me check also what this ship is. I'm curious to what the power frigate. What are you? You have aggressive combat, ion thrusters. Ooh, nice. And small x-ray lasers. What the hell is this? Level 4. Ooh, ooh. Large disruptor. You are a badass! Medium antimatter reactors and deflectors. This is an awesome ship. I'm glad I got that. That's really cool. So now, science ships. You're also dead here. Nothing for you to do. Is there something to do here? Debris. Research that debris. Do it. Science ship is going to have to hang until we can take care of that. Transport fleets are now... One is landed, one is not. Normal speed. Nautilus is moving. You're moving, right? Toward the wormhole that's going to be generated. Then we're going to go start sieging out his capital after fighting along his ship station. Obviously, we're going to have to take a little bit of damage there. But it's now under Insignian power. And if we occupy his capital, we'll be done for. I mean, he'll be done for, rather. Let's speed this up for a sec. We're sitting on a lot of minerals right now. Yeah, we'll get that done. What can we do? Are right, done? Warhole generator done? Nice. The Nautilus. Move to Ebar. Good. Construction ship can finish. I can't even... I can't construct here, can I? No, I don't own it yet. Alright, we'll construct there later. Is there anything I still need to construct? Probably... I can do the station in Groman. Yeah, let's do the station in Groman. I don't mind... Like, I'm running a little low on power, but that's okay. Good enough, and we're probably... Hey, the power in Amitsur, not the colonizable one. Actually, you know what? You were doing that. And after that, go here and build a plus four. That'd be good. And then you can go plus two here. In that order. And our Q should keep us through that. Now, is there anything I want to build here that we're not building yet? And I think we're good. 
Bull is fine. Do we have anything? One, two, three, four. You're migrating. Oh, we can actually upgrade it now, can't we? Please tell me we can upgrade it now. We have planetary admin here already. Oh, wait a minute. So I was saying, oh, no, no, no. No big deal. Can we upgrade you yet? You're almost there as far as population is concerned. Let me just slow this down rather than pause it completely. Almost down to five. And we're going to go absolutely ape on building stuff on planets soon. We start clearing some blockers, I guess, which wouldn't be bad. That's always worth the price of admission here. We upgrade you. There we go. Something to do. Uh, keep keeping up the physics research. We're a little slow on that. And we can start clearing some sinkholes. Yeah, why are you all com migrating? Migrate to the Gaia world. This place is awesome. It's like the best place in the world. And y you don't want to be here. For some reason, your ornery ass doesn't want to be here. That's so sad. All right, build some hydroponics, get more people, make more mans. Yeah, yeah, suppress the mineral. We're doing okay on minerals, you can clearly tell. All right, and nothing to do here. Let's just clear some blockers. It'll be more useful later. I got something to spend my minerals on anyway. Do that, do that, do that. That's causing 100 minerals, 100 energy. So we can't really burn too much of my Q, <laughs> turns out. All right, let's keep that whirring in that way. Alrighty, good. I bring it back to normal speed. Here you're warping. You're about to warp. Transport fleet. You're not connected, are you? No, you're you're fine. Why do you have five? Oh, five military power. Not gonna happen, buddy. I right, go to Ebar, and then you were here. We have another fleet to power on. Two. I saw 270 somewhere. Let's see. We have a space station. What's the 270? That's the only place with a hostile fleet. Okay, good. So there's just mining stations, mining, mining, mining stations, construction ships, 30, 394, and what is that? It's a mining station with 38 power. Fascinating, okay. All right, well, what we're gonna do is go at, the mining station doesn't attack, so we're just gonna go at their spaceport. We're gonna have to deal with that. Go there, civilian ships open up. Sorry guys, my first war, if this is taking too long, deal with it. All right, go here for now. I don't want you to go into range of that spaceport. And this is where I think we're gonna take some casualties, under for obvious reasons. Station under attack. Oh, crap, what? What station is under attack now? Did you warp? Huh? Oh, crap! I did see another fleet. Son of a bitch. Oh, you better not strand me, buddy. Nice try. That was clever. I didn't even see them do that. Go here. Yeah, yeah, Okay. So we gotta make sure this guy doesn't drop him, because this is gonna be bad. Get them before they warp further. Because he's, I think he's on cooldown right now? Or is he warping somewhere? We gotta drop them before anything happens. We're about to jump out of our wormhole. Because if he goes, yeah, he's going after my wormhole generator. If this goes down, I can't, I'm gonna be stuck in the other worlds. I won't have the range to jump back. So I need to defend this at all costs. Faster, guys. Jump harder. Oh, good. There we go. Save the wormhole generator. Tell me we're saving it. Looks like we're saving it. We're just taking damage on our Corvettes for a change, which is new. So he actually has a little bit more ship stuff. All right, let's go back now. Holy shit. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff going on again. All these debris to be analyzed. That scared me for a second. All right, let's get back in Ebar. He's got a second Navy cluster. Okay. And where is that? And where is our transport fleet? Are you anywhere close to getting shot at? Not really. Second Navy cluster. Is that? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're going to be fighting 400 with 900. All right, let's just get this done. I don't want to worry about him jumping anywhere next. Fuck that thing up. Science ship. What were you doing? Jacket. Okay, so you're still waiting for that one. Abrog, you're right up here. You go here and analyze the debris. Let's see. Yeah, analyze the debris. If there's anything new we can get out of that. It's highly possible we won't. We got another... Oh, we're almost at 60%. We don't have to necessarily occupy that world in order to get the war score done. We could probably just sit in orbit. And we should be okay. Yeah, there's not much power there. All right, let's keep it going. I want this war to end sooner so I can deal with the other stuff going around. 
No, that's fine. I want you to see the end result here. Make sure that fleet's not jumping. I gotta keep an eye on it. It is moving out. Construction complete. It is moving out. Okay. Go here. Handle that first. Can't let him jump. I don't want him to be a problem. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where are you going, buddy? I'm watching you. I'm watching you, jackass. Let's see. Where's that fleet gonna jump? If I need to split off some fleet, I will. But this blockade may be enough to make him cede this to us. And if that's true, then great. I don't have to worry about my invasion fleet working so hard. Minus 17. Why are we dropping so hard on maintenance now? We are establishing... Okay, so we are getting the world as expected. Oh, is this gonna cause the tithe problem? Hostile fleet engaged. Let's see. Hostile fleet Haha, engaged. they're trying to regroup. That's what they were doing. They're regrouping. Hostile fleet engaged. There's a lot of hostile fleets being engaged. Don't worry about that. Alright. The construction ship? What engaged. are you- You're not attacking the construction ship, you dumb shit. You attack the freaking outpost. Oh no, it is attacking the outpost. Never mind. Work harder, guys. We're gonna lose a Corvette or three. Or five. Can we please see how this is going? Thank you. Yeah, don't worry about the mining station. Stop wasting your energy on that. Work on the spaceport, please. There we go. Construction complete. We're getting more war score? Yeah, we are. Good enough. What is this? Non-aggression pledge for 10 years. Maybe. All right, we got a mandate, so we got a bunch of influence. Okay, so there's a lot going on here, as usual, it seems. And I'm gonna finish up this stuff later. I'll consider this offer from the United Euthabulans. Maybe we'll take it. I, I kind of read him as twitchy, right? He'd be talking like, not a Russian pledge? Which would be pretty interesting, because his eyes twitch, his ears twitch, his mandibles twitch. I'll see. I'll think about this, and I'll see you all next time on Stellaris as we are nearing the completion of our first war. <laughs> and we'll see you then. Till then? Till then! Till then!